Download Mr. Meeseeks as a courier. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> so I'm giving Kyle a two-minute rundown of Dota 2 before we put him in a 3K Probably average gonna, game. It's going to be great. It's going to be really good. Um, so your items, some of them are activatable, and they have their own hotkeys. And this is the weird but Like, my hotkeys for items are really weird. Okay. Given that you're starting from scratch, it might make sense to do... Like, I have... An item on F1, an item on 3, an item on 4, and okay, item, so it's items like, on my mouse. You said F, like, F1, 3, 4? <laughs> yeah, okay. to, um, on my mouse. And where you put your items in your six slots, they correspond to the six different hotkeys. Exactly. And you'll see um, in the game. So... Points. Teleport scrolls. Okay. Those are really big because they save you having to walk, ev you know, everywhere. Oh, you can make a box if you hold the left. Yeah, I remember click, that. Um, to select, it, it's even useful to select one unit. Okay. Oh, and I didn't log out of this account. Can't be playing on mine with the <laughs> six month bans. Because <laughs> there's a lot of griefing in Dota. There's a lot on the line. Hearts get broken. Wow. People get upset. You know? It's a serious thing. Friends become enemies. Friends enemies list. become friends. Become enemies list. Uh, how do I log out of Steam? Jeez. Friends online become enemies offline. <laughs> yeah, man. You can triangulate somebody's IP address and find them. <laughs> this is how I've spent my life tracking down Ted Freestyle 26. And for the record, for anybody that complains about this, fuck Dota 2 for making you do retarded shit before you can actually play the game. Kyle will be just fine. He'll probably do better than I usually do, so. Not only have I never played Dota 2, I've not played an RTS in, like, the last RTS I played was Warcraft 2. So that was, like, 90, 98 was that heyday? I mean, this game has... 2002? One of the highest, um... Skill floors. Not even skill floors. I don't even know what you want to call it. Is your caps lock on, maybe? I just haven't logged in. It's gotta be there. Wow. Oh, he wants you to. You want cool. to play Dota with the PlayStation oh, yeah. controller? <laughs> There was like a PS, I mean, an N64 port of Warcraft, the first Warcraft. Yeah. And it, like, you'd have to play it on the fucking... Starcraft, right? Yeah, I think so. There's definitely N64 for Starcraft. Or, <laughs> Starcraft for yeah. N64. I can't... You see this? I've closed it <laughs> multiple times. Are you using the Steam controller? Would you like a picture of it? So you don't have a choice. Oh yeah, so you have six... Item slots. And now back. See, the thing is, whenever you explain something, anything in Dota, there's like a page of notes okay. that goes with it. So I'll just try to keep it brief. There's a. Uh, um, laser sex. Six item slots. Unlike every other game, like you can get five rings or five you can have a sword and, a, and they all are equipped at the same time okay. no, it doesn't matter like you know there's an item that you always buy called boots you, you don't get two some things don't stack though so you don't get two boots okay. it's not one for each foot kind of you stuff you get as many rings as you want only one boot <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah I'm trying to figure it out as many it, swords as you want or only one sword items will say kind of if they stack okay. sometimes if they remember to put that in the tool tip you know sometimes they, they don't make it really obvious so least played. This is what they try to force you into. Oh yeah, that's you know, least played. You need you need all hundred and seven heroes active. Yeah. Now turbo mode is um, a shorter version of the game where you just get gold, and XP for free. Um, probably a lot better for newer players because you don't need to last yes. hit to get gold necessarily. Okay. So that's the other mechanic is only the person that gets the last hit on the weaker mobs or okay. NPCs in the game gets creeps. the gold creeps. Okay. Yeah, and I heard Dota play. <laughs> um, I'm going to play 
Where is all pick? Yeah, okay, it's the big one right there. They're already selected for. Um. Alright, so there's lots of heroes. If you want to just tell me a little bit about yourself, like your zodiac sign. Okay, alright. I might uh, be able to. I'm a Leo, my moon sign is Crescent. Yeah. Uh, Make a recommendation here. So, they're devel they're, so what do strength heroes, what do agility heroes, what do intelligence heroes do? I'm all ready. You know what, you tell me everything I need to know. <laughs> exactly. We're at <laughs> strict time here. So. They, it, really what what that means is that stack also gives you damage okay. on those heroes. Um, and they tend to, age, okay. agility heroes tend to be DPS heroes. Strength, they're more like tanks, and intelligence are like your casters, but... <laughs> that, that, this is not true. No, no. one's playing Wraith King. <laughs> He's banned. Dude, don't give away your hand. <laughs> okay, they're going right. to know what you're all about. <laughs> now, I pick who I want to play now? Um, so each, each person... Like each team gets a pick, it alternates. Okay. Um, so you can you can go ahead and grab it first, or your teammates will pick. You can show. Looks like they already grabbed this. So here's your mini map. It's okay. pretty important to look at and get your bearings because there's three lanes in the game. Okay. And people refer to that bot, middle, and top, or <laughs> your your bottom lane on this side is also called your safe lane. Okay. That's where the carry typically goes. This is a universally hated hero, Goblin Techies. He's <laughs> okay. like no other hero in the game because he plants stationary mines okay. that like blow people up. He would have maybe been a fun hero to play, but I'm not very good at him, so I couldn't tell you much. Um, so roll is really important in this game. Like roll. The hero that's gonna go mid, he's my he's that makes sense. he's gonna get a lot of item and experience priority and okay. he's supposed to be because mid is like where more the creeps go. It's where a one-on-one -on -one matchup happens. Okay. So, typically. Um, so when you're solo in a lane, you get more experience and gold just on, by virtue of that. Um, what does carry mean? Carry refers to somebody that gets supported and they are focused on getting gold from neutrals. Is pick now? Yeah. Um, or you can pick last. No, I'm interested. I have my eye on this guy. All right. Uh, <laughs> I highly recommend picking anyone else. Almost. Really? Yeah. He just kind of tethers the people. He's like, I, you know what? I'm going to go Slark. Lock in Slark, baby. Oh, this guy picked Huskar. I'm trying to think, what, what's the fun here? Am I definitely Slark now? No, you didn't. That guy picked before you. He okay. picked Huskar. Um. <laughs> He, if you want to be slack, I'd say be slack. But there's also Zombie Man. Oh, let's go Zombie Man. Locked in. Nice, nice. All right, so your abilities are like a uh, decay. Why can't you? Oh yeah, you can hover over them here. Okay. So that's decay. That's my Q. Yep. You can Once you hit Q. You see the AOE marker for it, and then you left click to actually cast the spell. Okay. Um, and it steals strength from people, enemy heroes that you hit with it, and so that gives you HP as well. Okay. Your second ability is called Soul Rip. It's when you hit the bong just right, they call it a Soul Rip. Uh, now it, it can either heal or hurt, and it gets more powerful the more units. They're involved in it. They're caught in it. That are just in the area of where. It, so it's okay. only a single target spell, but it gets oh. stronger if there's more units around. Interesting. Okay. Tombstone is a Summon. lot of fun. If you put down a stationary tombstone, the enemy team can kill it. This is how many attacks okay. it takes to destroy it, and it every it periodically spawns uh, zombie little zombies that attack everybody in a pretty big area of effect around it. Okay. You can heal the tombstone with your W ability. Okay. Which is kind of interesting, and you want to basically, and then your oh, your ultimate ability. I'm sorry, that's R, so one over from okay. E. That turns you into, it transforms you into like this form that kind of amplifies damage. Okay, that's flesh golem. Yeah. Kind of. This hero isn't the most straightforward. Your picks on this team are pretty interesting. 
So where am I going? So I would go to b bottom lane. Um, here, let's buy some items. Click on this little button. There's a hotkey for it, but I don't even know what it is. So you right click to actually purchase. Purchase. That this is what it's recommending. I would sell those. Yeah. They have enough physical to deal with them though. They're probably planning on doing magic burst to lower his health and so, burst will finish them off or something. Now you can click on the map or on the mini map. Um, I would walk out. You see the squares on the mini map are your towers. Okay, yeah. Um, here, close up the shop. You can pan the screen uh, just by the sliding. Rooms. You yep. don't have to grab her any more Medusa. It's team gold now. So walk out, see where this blue guy is? This guy? Yeah. Is he my teammate? Yep. Should I go to him? Yep. You're, you're going to be laning together. Okay. Um, now... <laughs> We're gonna have you just yeah, try to get last hits and stuff too. So another important button is it's S good. in the stand because it'll stop your hero now. from attacking and just kind of hold like you in place. And have a good place now. now what this is is a rune that spawns okay. um, at the beginning of the game and every two minutes after. And you just got gold from that because of the change they literally made today that's okay. bizarre. Huh. He took it. See this uh, little Dominance. thing? Yeah, okay. that's what they took. So now, your creeps are going to walk up from the bottom. Okay. Here, go, go down. Here, move over more. The left more? No, down to the right. Oh, should I try to catch those guys? Yep. These are your... They'll spawn every 30 seconds. Okay. So... This guy's pretty tough. He's bristleback. He, uh, the more damage he takes, he... I would level up. So you gotta level up uh, one of your skills. Take your Q. There you go. Change and, it. And go try to cast it on him. Yeah. Nice. Keep following him. Yeah, he's gonna die. He's done. He just took a lot of damage from Huska. Should I kill these dudes? Um, you can. <laughs> Usually, you let your... So that so that's what being carry means is that he's supposed to so instead of just attacking him like that though only try to attack him when they're really low okay and get the last hit. yeah and that'll really piss off with <laughs> so they're really bad at doing fines you just leveled up again so you can put something in slow up is good um the, the the thing about tombstone is you need to look a couple levels in it until it gets really good okay um, because it gets harder to attack. So hit your S button, or just move back. Save that Q for the Bristleback guy. Because okay. you can't, um, yeah, steal good. strength. Oh, from, from these, yeah, because they don't technically have strength. So try, team? let's try this. Try walking over into the woods there. You, you can just, yeah, or in that gap right there. So trees are line of sight blockers. So you can kind of sneak around. Yeah, let's see if you can cast your Q on him. So he's gone. So two minutes. Oh, nice, stolen. nice. We can talk trash on the mic too. <laughs> That's a so keep. Don't. So here's why you don't want to do that. In some cases. So. Yeah. Here's the idea: when you attack those creeps more, see how now you're up here. Yeah. So you can even attack your own creeps to try to keep the the equilibrium, the creep equilibrium. This would be pushing back. bottom. Then? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Push bottom. Nice. So he's going blowing blue because there's a rune that spawns in the river. I haven't even really looked at the map. Um, that gives him double damage okay. on his. So you're. So that's their tower. See, it does a decent yeah. chunk of damage. But you also have eight strength stolen, so. Try okay, some my health. It's the green bar above your hand. You, so your health and your mana? Yeah. Or these two? And they respawn slowly. Yeah, so let's try this. So hit, you can just click it for now. It's, it's my mouse. Uh, thumb. thumb button. Okay. It's a tree. 
Or you gotta click it on a tree. It's called a the scroll root the root scroll wheel on the mouse or nope, um like the thumb button. Thumb button. I don't have a mouse with the thumb button. I'll just click this. And then click a tree. Yummy. So I ate that. Yep. Um and now also double click on that guy or hit F three twice. Now you'll lose this if you get hit by an enemy attack. Okay. <clears throat> but the little guys are won't break it. That's okay. Another recent change. And what what is that doing? Increasing my mana regen? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um so that's this little number, the plus three and the plus six point eight is your regen number. Now yeah. what you can do when there's a lull in the lane. I'll go ahead. Yeah. Love up your uh Here, walk back. Oops. Oops. Okay. It's up to you if you want to start leveling your tombstone now. You can also just... The thing is, you don't have much mana. But, if you do it, if he gets really low and you cast your tombstone right, you can probably kill him. You can go for it. I level twice. Yep. Love tombstone again. So if you hit four, you'll eat that mango thing to give yourself mana. I wouldn't necessarily... The thing about keeping the mango in your inventory is it regens health slowly for you. Okay. And then you can make the trade, and it builds into another item. Oh, actually, let's uh, walk over down here to the right. Yep, by that too. Chop. Oh, yep. And then right click the boots. Oh, where are the boots? This? Yep, boots of speed. I go fast. Anything else I should spend money on? Mmm, no, no. Oh shit, go try to cast your, no, no, he's fine. Yeah, go cast your tombstone. Alright, no, we are good, we are good. He died. Or you can cast your, I guess you don't have mana. Your W, oh, you cast your Q on him? Yeah, I think I cast Q on something. You can cast your W on that husk I got to heal him. Ah, you fucked up. This dude's drifting. Oh, it's six minutes. Try right click on that rune there. Right this? on your mini map. Uh, nope. That I'm sorry, the little orange. This thing? thing? That little thing with the ring around it? Where you were before. So every two minutes, so six, eight. Mm -hmm. This yeah, go ahead and grab that. He still has no stout shield. Now you just got seventy five gold and cool. Whoa, wait, oh. So, you can see, like, the fog of war. Yeah. So there's day and night time in the game. So it's night time now, so you get a little bit more, uh... Less vision, really. Okay. Like, more, if more you're just standing and, and you don't have an allied unit, you know, it's, you know how RTS vision works, yeah. which is a big thing you have going for you in this game um, with the fog of war. And like your units giving you vision. Now, I think it's it's almost worth it to go back and get some mana at this point. So I would right click all the way back to the fountain here. Uh, yeah, a little bit more to the back right. So where you're looking at is shown by that. Do you see? Yeah. Oh, here's the fountain. Okay, I see. And this is the fountain, right? Yeah. And you can also just click on the mini map. Like oh, yeah. if you right click. Gotcha. Yeah, you'll okay. you'll move just like that. Um, can I see it on the big map? Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah. Tiny, do you have mine? Um can I there I am. So, so your lane is interesting. The guy on the other team is Kind of feeding kills to the okay. house guy, um, so everything's good. Put another point in tombstone. Uh, now you can really let, let's try to teleport out from instead of walking back. Okay, well, how do I do that? This is it. Yep. Um, and then target target this. Click it once, and then target that square. This. Square? Yep. Go. Yeah. Uh, click over there to see, because there's somebody over there. Okay. See that? 
I'll look on your mini map, see brown and yellow. Yeah. This is bum. Yeah, that's on your side. Uh, yeah. So he's trying to bait that guy to walk up here. It's, oh, and you can't see it because of fog of war, interesting. Yeah, and high ground. So see how you can't see up that high yeah, ground? I noticed that. So yeah, see what these guys are doing over there. Oh, something triggered that mine. Oh, there's a... Ah, uh, she just killed your dude. Try to... Oh yeah, and you see their life bars, right? Yeah. So maybe you can pull him back in the... Nice. He doesn't realize. Oh, she Ooh. does. Yeah, you need your two. Oh, dude, I think it's gonna work out. Nice, CJQ. Dude, that's what you call debating the other team. Like, what is this tombstone and this undying just doing? And then your tiny, your little rock dude walks up. So what happened just now? Like, we we got a kill, right? Yeah, you killed the crystal maiden. Uh, cause she was too busy attacking your thing, and uh, Tiny has a lot of, he has two nukes. Okay. So he quickly does damage with his combo. Um, now it's ten minutes. Oh, he got the room. So I'd say... What happens when that happens? Where is that? That noise? That light that shines down sometimes. Is it leveling up or oh. maybe? Oh, I might be dead. Just keep running. You good? I'll just walk back to the fountain. But um, on your way, go to that guy. Out there. You're gonna get this item. Um, at your shop. You can left click him or the shop. Buy this little blue orb. This one. It's called energy booster. Now watch when you buy it. Right click it. See how your boots just turn in uh, arcane. Interesting. So that's like a upgrade. Yeah. So now they have a active ability that will replenish mana for you and your teammates around you. Cool. So you almost don't have to go back, but you're almost there now. Between this and so this is a salve. When you double tap it, it'll heal you about uh, 400 HP. Okay. Is it consumed? Yes. Okay. They always have so many in lane. And this has a cooldown on it. Yeah, it's okay. um, 55 seconds, so you can get 130 mana okay. every 55 seconds. Um, I'm also going to uh, open up your shop. Buy a couple of these Observer Wards. Like, right click. One more? Yeah. And then also, right click this teleport scroll. So now. See how it's in your backpack? Yeah. So you, if you drag it, swap it with the tango. There you go. And now you can teleport right to a tower or just walk out. Okay, which I level up now. Um, you can level up your ultimate. You can go right, back bottom. Or teleport. You can just walk bottom and save your teleport in case something's happening on the map. So that's a big part of this game because. Like, if you watch the map carefully, sometimes you can get a bead on what's going on just from... And trying to keep track of, like, where the enemy is. Where's that ruin? I think it just rolled over 12 minutes. Uh, it's... So, the, because the icon's missing, it means that your teammate... Oh, got it already. Got it. Or verified by sight, I think, that it wasn't there okay. if the enemy got it. But if the enemy gets it without anybody seeing, it'll stay there. Interesting. So towers are worth, you just got gold, because the tower fell. Um, <clears throat> your whole team gets gold when you push towers to kind of incentivize people, like, grouping up and pushing them. Cool. Now you can, your um, ally there, yeah. he does a lot more, he attacks faster and has more magic resistance, the lower his health drops. I see, so he wants to stay sort of on. Yeah, okay. and he has a move that hurts him. Throw down your... E. Should not have put it that close to the tower. I'm sorry. Thanks, that's fine. Tinker's top. 
So it's kind of hard. He just jumped in without waiting for you to really catch up. But he has his ultimate jumps him on top of somebody and slows him for a few seconds. So if you can combo perfectly. But the other thing is that Bristleback, the porcupine. Oh, he did die. Shit. Oh, he has a dot on his spears Uh, that must have killed him once he was off the screen. Oh, cool. Oh, that's this cooldown? That's Bristleback? Yeah, that means he's dead. Um, you can use your mana boots now if you want. Just some mana back. Um, yeah, what's happening again? Zeus is a Ow. character. He's their middle character. He's got his ultimate hits every hero on the map. Ah, I see. Double tap your uh, little healing guy. Pretty long. It looks like they might need you top. Or it might be done already. Yeah, they're kind of... What's this? It's an enemy hero teleporting him. Uh-oh. Yeah, I can't back. You're not strong enough to take the target. Huh? He got the guy that came in! Sure. Be careful, like, kind of low. Yeah, don't, don't, uh, go up to that guy alone. He'll kill you. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way here. I think I am. I'm going to the mid lane, aren't I? Um, is this a little healing fountain? Yep. But it has a pretty big cooldown. Oh. I'm sorry. It's like five minutes. It heals your health and mana. Yeah, go back because there's nobody at bottom. So. Down a little bit. Oh, yeah, be careful. Where are these things? Um, that he's summoned, it's called March of the Machines. It's okay. like, hurts a big area. Here, go back. Back to where it was. Yeah, because uh, Blue Huskar just came in, too. Okay. So you can, um, we can try putting one of these Observer Wards to see. It'll, it'll take a while, but, so these Observer Wards, the main point of them is to, you know, light up an area of the map. To try to see like if enemy heroes are there mm-hmm. passing through, um, especially on your mini map. So, oh, you got brown over to your left. My left. So just put um, hit, hit space or click that, and then click the ground like, here? yeah, uh, up here. Here. Yeah. So you can see, even when there's n- nobody there. Okay. Movement from the river in that lane. Um. Yeah, I would finish uh, up your tombstone. I can't upgrade it. Oh, I can. Okay. And it looks like Huskar is waiting to fight, so maybe you can bait him in here. And level up your W in the soul rip. It's a hard thing because you either here they come. Hit your... That's it? Yeah, I was just wrong. I'm dead. Sorry, you weren't gonna get out of there anyway, hopefully. So that's why, so that's the danger of pushing. So they're getting, your team's getting kills elsewhere on the map. But when you're attacking a structure like that, the whole enemy team just reinforces yeah. and, you know. Do the towers heal? Can they be repaired? Only one, only one character can okay. repair him. It's kind of a niche thing because at some point in the game, heroes do so much damage that towers are not. Yeah, they become not very important. Um, so you have some gold. You can buy something if you want. Um, more healing thing. 
I would go with... So if you shift and left click that item, this item. Um, this one? Nope, the one, one over. Yeah, mechanism. So shift and left click it. So now you can just right click these things. Those are the components that make up this item. Okay. It's basically an area of effect heal that you can build. So start to buy all these things. Yeah, so just start right clicking. There you go. Yep, by the by the branch. Nice. You're a little short. Uh, right click those tangos and just sure. sell. Oh, you're not. Oh yeah, so that's if they're in your stash because you're not close enough. Just walk back a little bit. That's one of the most frustrating parts of this game. So buy that other branch. Um, and then I guess put put your mango or something in your backpack so you can take that headdress. So these items. Just grab all. Yeah. But you want to swap it out for something, either the tango or, yeah. Then my enchanted mango is now off too. You can't sell the mango, so I just hang on to it. So probably teleport top with those guys. To the top tower. So click that. Yep, um, I'll go one up. There you go. I'll click up here. It teleports you to like it's a radius around that structure. So he's trying to put a little trap here. Oh. So see that the fog, he just popped out and lasered him. They probably have a ward, one of those oh, observer wards. Yeah. That's how, yeah, look, see they see your tiny one invisible through. Hit your R button. Nice. I like you. Ah, uh, it's just there's four of them. Your team is very uncoordinated. The Takis hero is weird too, although, does he still have those mines? No. There's a bunch of them around, I think. So the higher you level up, the longer your death timer is. Okay. Does it make any sense? No, oh, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> And it's like, it's fun, I see the appeal of this, definitely. I know, I'm just like, barking, it's just, there's so much, I guess I should've just let you, kinda, I shouldn't have gave, no, given I you like, so much guidance. I mean, I, it's good to know these things, cause I'm still learning. I need to look at the mini-map a lot more, I think. It's, it's good to get a sense of where you are. Oh, fucking Zeus. So, is he so just, you probably want to get a teleport and get top. Where's the next shot? Um, in the woods up here. Here? A little bit up more. That's alright, you're walking. Oh, there we go. So that's... Yeah, there you go. Time is not on. Um, Medusa. I don't know who would want her. She's pretty. She's pretty hit in the face. But. So that's a pain. Where am I there? In? Which tower? The enemy's bottom tower has fallen. Oh, oh, Husker killed. Husker's dead though. Hmm. You might. You should watch. I think he's gonna get killed. Oh wow. So when he gets low, he gets really strong. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't get the kill. Maybe he's got the DOT. Or not. He must have not had his, maybe he turned his burning uh, spears off because it would have hurt him too much. Does it do damage to him too? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Q. Right. I think I missed him. There you go. Because you got the buff on you. Careful. Oh, your teammates can take you out. If you hold Alt, you can see the range of the top. Uh, I see. There's Alt. There's Alt. It's that red circle. 
Also, if you hover without clicking your spells, you can see the cast range. Oh, cast. So that this Tinker character, yeah. he's got a Blink Dagger, which is an item that lets you like jump. So he can just teleport here, blink forward, and like blow you up with okay. his spells. He's also super annoying because his ultimate refreshes the cooldown item, uh, so you can, dude, playing him is like, play, you play like 208, it's like playing pro StarCraft sure. 1 if you're really good. So buy up a teleport. Right here. Right click? Yep. And then, uh, looks like your team already died again up top. Or no, you can teleport up top again, I think. So right click this. Left click. You can either use mini map or actually like look at that and then click. That's a good spot to teleport. Sometimes if you teleport too far out in front of the tower, yeah. it'll just pick you off. Nice. So you can um should tell you before. If you double tap W, you'll heal yourself. Okay. But you wanna, you need to be around, sorry, you need oh. to be around units. Like enemies? Or, or allies. Oh, okay. Just, it counts, you. It, it like, it's like a spirit bomb or something. Yeah. It gathers energy from the living. Friend or foe. So is it like the alt of W? Huh. Is that the alternate that use of W? You can just target, yeah, you can target allies or... Will I be targeting myself with that? Oops. Cast on yourself. W W. Not run. Keep running. I'm sorry. You're just low health, and they're still pushing this tower. Um. Yeah. So you still got a couple tangos and a heal. So when you get low HP, just kind of back off and okay. decide if you want to go to the base or if you're just gonna. This item gives you some increased regeneration as well, but still it takes you a long time to yeah. get, you know, 800 HP back or something. You're really close to having this mechanism item as Should well. I, I level up? I'll go through W. So if I just hit it once, that targets me? I'm least. sorry, I didn't explain. Yeah. So W once puts it on your cursor. Okay. And you can, you can point and target yourself or any ally enemy. How do I un get, get off my cursor? Uh, escape, or you can right click. Okay. Now if you hover your cursor over W, so that's the range of it. Okay. Of your spells in general. So it gives you some idea of... Should I try to buy that shit now? Uh, you're 20 gold off. So I would sell your tango and buy it. I'm about to have it if I just wait a sec. Yeah. No. Well, you also need a teleport though. I saw this. Uh, right click. So, or you can like drag down. All right. And right click. Yeah. And, and I would put this. I'd make sure this is on something you'll you, you'll remember to hit like space bar. Okay. Because the big th it'll heal you and your allies in a circle. All right. And I would teleport um, up to top. It looks like there's a fight going on. Where'd that thing go? Is this it? Where's the mechanism? That's it. Yeah. Uh, teleport. Yeah. I would drag. Oh, careful! Don't walk up. Yeah. There you go. Chris made this here too. I would drag maybe the mechanism to this one. This one? Yeah. Or, so four or spacebar is what the okay. other guy is on. One of those. And so this is an important, she's like a, you know, DPS kind of character. So if you save your W and the mechanism for her and your mana boots as well, because she's got mana shield, you, you can make a really big uh, difference. How do I use them on her? Um, just, mechanism is a area around you, so you just hit the button once. W, you hit W and then you left click it on her. Okay. She's like back. So I'll just position yourself. Gonna watch where your allies stay. Maybe a little bit behind you. So you 
can also, you still got that observer ward if you want to put it um, maybe to the right of this tree line. Right here? Yeah. So now you can go back, and if they're, if they're trying something on you, it'll show your team their movement. Techies makes for like really slow games because he doesn't really have offense. You know, you can only fight in the position you set up. So. Okay. I'm just going to try to do something, I guess. Yeah, he tried to say that. Oh, they're like. Breaking the towers. Yeah, you can walk up to um, that He's shop. Really a second up here. Um, and buy a teleport. Although, so that's the other thing, is when you lose those towers, now you can't teleport okay. to that location anymore. So, as you lose, you slowly lose your map control and your ability to, like, reinforce each other and move around quickly. Where should I go now? You can try to get, try to get these last hits, see if anybody comes. So, wait, 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 wait. Get it. So, hit, so your S button. Oh. Hit. Um, and now... Yeah, so, all right, get back, get back. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Yeah, get back, those two will definitely kill you. No, there's two in there. No, but see, they just push their wave too, okay. so now you can hang out by your tower and, yeah, so the whole, it, it's tough, especially with this here, because he has a really kind of crappy attack, but. Hit your four. Oh. Whoops. So this guy, <laughs> he has an ability that it's called Slight of Fist, and he jumps and attacks units almost like Dragon Ball Z style okay, or something, okay. super fast. And then he's got a chain, like a, a ch searing chain. They root you in position. So his combo is to jump and this kind of hit you while you're stuck. And then you use the chains so he can root you from a distance okay. by comboing his spells together. So he hits first, then chains? Yeah. Or he can just walk up to you and chain. He's also got this thing that lets him throw a remnant, like a copy of himself, and then jump to it and okay. do damage. What's this? Your team is pushing the hell. Dude, your team is winning this game. They're getting there. Take a look at that. Just left back. So these buildings are the key because okay. what they do, this makes no fucking sense. They create the creeps? Uh, they they make your cool. creeps stronger. Okay. When, when you kill their barracks, it makes your <laughs> creeps stronger okay. and give less gold to the enemy team in, in that lane. I don't know why it... Ironically enough, they're not even scared. That's a good mechanic, and there's no reason push. for it. Yeah. But you think it might make theirs weaker, but yeah. instead it makes yours, I don't you know. Yeah, because they have a tinker. <laughs> So what, should, what is this if I click this? What is that so those are your talents. So you get them at 10, 15, 20, and 25. Go ahead okay. and click it. So just like in a lot of games, it's they two sides. You can choose one or the other. 8 health regen or 100 cast range. Uh, if I cast range. I'm yeah, not. I don't have a strong opinion. Which one? 100 cast range is 100 units. It's about... Okay. That maybe. Not right there. It's not what I have. There you go. So remember, your W ability is strongest like when this part. Okay. So you got units on your side, you got units on... Yeah, new, new one. See that plus 42? Yeah. So yeah, try to, try to get these last hits. Alright, I hit... Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't... Ooh, Zeus. So that mechanism item you have is also yep. just They're granting a passive aura. Basically. Yeah, they're So I would teleport top now, it looks like there's a fight going on. So you, while looking here, yep, you can hit that and click it, and then click on the ground. Uh, left click. So that tower is dead, so it teleported you a little bit back. Okay. But you're right around there. So that, that building that healed you mm -hmm. earlier, it's called a shrine. You can teleport to those as well. While your team is just... Try to heal. You can heal her. Yep, around there. Just 
keep running out of that. Uh, what was that? Zeus. A, so, he has, there's an item called Aghanim Scepter, and it has unique effects on each hero. And his lets him globally place a thundercloud that ah. shoots down bolts of lightning on people. And then he also has a spell called Bolt of Lightning. So, it's like a double nuke stun kind of, he's like a he's like a wizard okay. in their quest he's just nuker. like a pure nuker yeah but one of his talents gives him a little bit of disable which i think is kind of broken i like mm. playing that. he's a fun hero to play he just spam spells i buy a couple just buy like two or three teleports right on the bat they're still on cooldown but you want them well, that's three seconds you, you can walk up top Um, this game is weird on your team because of this techies. Kill that tiny. Uh, just get closer when I hit four. W. Oh, yeah. so he's good. Yeah, he's using that. Too. What? She just wasted her ult. Oh no! You can, yeah. It's like stone gaze. So anybody that's facing her for too long gets petrified. Okay. okay. So that so that decay spell does a really low amount of initial damage. It's really hard to like last hit with the. Okay. What's the what does that do? What's the benefit of it? It steals strength from okay. heroes. Okay. So when you cast it on heroes, it steals ten strength, which is the equivalent to uh, two hundred damage, okay. like in D and D. You know how stealing strength works. Yeah. And then it also gives you that strength to heal. Uh, get back, get back. Alright, gotcha. Uh, where was I? Oh, you were up here. Oh. Yeah, um... If you hit, sorry, one, double tap it, it'll focus your hero. Okay. It's basically like, I have my hero hotkeyed on one. Okay. With that, even though there's not. And the courier is this... I have it on this tilde button, so okay. this is a little... You can like bring you items and stuff. If you don't want to leave your lane. Yeah, exactly. So that becomes really important because every wave of creeps that meets on the map is potential resources. So that's that's why like even though you haven't... This is your first game and you haven't had much of an impact, like staying out of the hair of like the Huskar and stuff for the most part, like lets him... There's no real loss from it necessarily, you know. Okay. As long as somebody's getting that golden experience. So as just... long as I'm not feeding the other team. Exactly. Okay. Um. Should I teleport somewhere? It looks like they're attacking bottom. I just saw a couple of them on the main. Map. So your tiny's gone. So he's got a shadow blade, which makes him invisible. So he's gonna try to hunt. Oh, I missed him. So you can interrupt a teleport, like when you're teleport scrolling, or this character uses uh, teleport boots, yes, just run back. It's a lost cause. I don't know. Why did that one orbit? What do you say? I think he said probably overdid that or something. Get back, get back, get back. Hit the four. Oh, that's who's got so you got so he can just throw that from anywhere on the map, and it's got a little, it's got like a point eight second stun on it. Wow. So this is so part of the reason too is you got those techies on your team, so the enemy team knows like, basically kind of like one hero that isn't gonna jump on. Yeah, okay. And so this is the part of the game. I mean, you're forty minutes in the game. This is pretty much getting in a late game where you're gonna have to just follow like heroes on your team or wait behind yeah, I think everyone's structures str everyone's stronger than me by now right yeah and the enemy team is kind of starting to really take over the game too unfortunately like you got really lucky i think your team did with that push bottom they cleared those barracks so does that just make the bottom Creeps stronger or all creeps? Just the bottom creeps. And it also makes them worth less gold to the other team. So theoretically your your reach in a late game gets a little bit better because you're more efficiently you're you're getting more gold than the enemy. Wait, look at that. Oh, I 
look up. Can you save him? Well, they react really hard anytime they see some. So they're like Team Global, if you think about it, because the Tinker guy, Boots of Travel, so your teleport lets you go uh, teleport to a building. Boots of Travel, it costs 2,000 gold on top of Boots. It lets you teleport to units okay. on your oh, team. Okay. So if they can get there. Tinker just appears, he's got this blink, he gets on top of you, and then there's Zeus has got global range spells to just throw on top. They're all BOTs. BOTs is Boots of Travel. Uh, Got the fear. So your team is moving. Looks like they're going to the, this is probably not a good fight for your team. <laughs> See, because they're running into the enemy's high ground here. Now they're going to chase. Try to get to him. Because you're not going to really, like, your, char your character doesn't do anything outside of your team. So it just hits the walk on. Hit your four. No. Sorry. I should have been more but I wanted to see I, I don't know. Uh, the four is your heal and then your soul rip. The other thing it, it wouldn't have mattered in this fight, but like if you put your tombstone here. It's hard for them to get to. Yeah, because then it's like on the high ground. That's like a pretty classic spot. This guy's kind of hard because you gotta you gotta be really near the action and have a good. It, it takes a lot of kind of sense of like where the fights are gonna happen. Yeah, and a lot stuff. of my powers are dependent on who's around, and it's hard to react with him. Um, I don't know what. Um, now, so that Wraith King character that you banned. Yeah. He only has one active skill, so one button to press. That no. might be a good approach, too. No, yeah, he's banned. He's banned. <laughs> it's like playing a warrior in the EQ, you know? The, the, the thrill of hitting yeah. one. <laughs> like Sometimes you shield back. Fucking off. Yeah. Slam. Yeah, slam. Did you know that like that was... I, they changed it with other ones, but if you weren't a large race warrior, get back. Or hit W twice. Jeez. He's, he's watching you. He knows. He must have the weakest link. He knows. <laughs> um, so, aggro in this game as well. Creeps will aggro you when you target a hero, but otherwise they shouldn't. Okay. So, there's a. Towers. I have a really weird aggro system I won't even try to explain. Okay. That. Should I buy anything? I got gold. Yeah. Um, you can shop by your dad. Left click that. Right click. Um, actually, I'll just save for the item that combines these two items. Just save. Okay. Yeah, you're like 300 away. I just got lightning bolt. I should stay there. Section. Lightning bolt. Here, walk bottom. Like, stay in your base, but it looks like that's where they're gonna push. Yep. Stay a little bit back. Uh, yeah, get a little bit. Oh, there you go. I get back. 
Can you base just need a stack BKB? BKB? Oh, here. This? Yeah. BKB is Black King Bar. It gives you temporary magic immunity. Like complete immunity. So that little shield around him means he'll reflect your spell back okay. at you if you target him. You can hit him with Q though. Because it's an AoE target. Put your tombstone down. Like right near you. That's good. Hit four. Jesus. <laughs> Zeus just watches me. Yeah, he does a lot of damage with his nukes. Oh, your tombstone's still standing. Yeah. So you can buy back. It's, it costs a lot of gold. But I think you already got your tombstone down here, good. See if your zombie can get a kill. Back him up. See though, like, if you had your mechanism here and stuff, yeah. it, it could make a big difference. So what's the mechanism again? It's an AoE heal around you. Okay. Um, and it gives a bit of armor as well. And then your soul rip. Like that W. Okay. Taikis though should have a better like defense thing kind of set up. Yeah, we're pretty much done, aren't we? Can I buy that thing now? No, because you lose gold when you die. Oh. You keep reliable gold. Right, again. There's like a page ex explanation of everything. You can see, hit, uh, this. yeah, that arrow. So he, uh, he hit you with one attack for 930 damage. He's got a crit item called okay. a Daedalus. So it's just a regular attack from that enemy? Well, but he's got that thing that jumps some new attack okay. as well. But it is, you're right to quite, yeah, so everybody's got, like, right click, what they call, like, your basic attack. And agility heroes especially tend to, like, build those, like, items that, like, Amplify that damage. Okay. And he's an agility hero. Um, so like, yeah, they're about to. We're, we're done. Yeah, they're about to win. So that's your that's your ancient. Mm. Yeah. They, so once you get all three barracks, it makes your creeps like really Useless. strong. Like. I mean, or, yeah. yeah. We need to defend this bot. So that's it. Oh. So if I hit like ass between attacks, can I attack faster? No. Okay. Um, but people do that to like mess with the other person that they're fighting with last hits for, like fake an attack. Uh. Or to hold their own for timing, like... Nice. Right. Getting there. Hello. Getting there. Coming to the party like, Getting oh god, he's healing things! I got him, <laughs> I got him one hit. <laughs> So good. You can buy back. You can buy back. Yeah. 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 I'm dead already. Good, good luck. Who's that? Oh, I was hitting You're good. So that's, see how he threw those things and then like followed to him? Yeah, sort of, yeah. I was busy hitting the wrong button. <laughs> 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 I gotta start using. Oh, I mean, I should have been using this more. 
What? Uh, that, uh, this item. Oh, yeah. Man of Yeah. Or Arcane. The main, I think the main thing that's tricky is like keeping your hero like over here mm -hmm. and like looking. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you kind of have to have a sense of where you are even when you're not on the screen, yeah. which is tough when you've never seen the map or have no. Yeah, I'm sure that comes with experience. Yeah. It's that machine gun thing. The, your fountain has an attack on it, basically, to try to prevent people from doing this, but when you're really far ahead, you can still <laughs> just camp out the other team. Dire victory. Does that mean they beat us really bad? The dire is the opposite team. Oh. Okay. You were radiant. Oh. Or dire. And... I thought it was like flawless victory. <laughs> like dire victory. It's a much larger <laughs> victory than usual. You should dire, man. You should need some help. Um, and Warcraft 3, it was... Uh, Sentinel and Scourge. Okay. Something like that. Well, that was my first uh, yeah, man. Dota 2, this is. Dota 2. I think I did pretty great. I do too. I gotta disagree with myself right away, actually. Oh, I didn't change the... Oh, well. So is this my total, like, gold that I earned through the... Yeah, uh, that's your net worth. Okay. So, like, the gold of your items that you had at the end. The gold that you earned, GPM, gold per minute. Yeah, I was I was dragging this team down. <laughs> Total level. <laughs> yeah, the the thing is though, like your deaths when you're poor mm -hmm. give less gold ah, okay. to the enemy team. So it, it wasn't all bad. Mm -hmm. So these are like, here's like a really expensive item. It gives you like a whole bunch like an active ability. Okay. It boosts your attacks. That's your regular attack speed. Damage adds to your right click. And intelligence, three stats, strength, intelligence, agility. Strength gives you HP, and if you're a strength hero like Undying, it also damage. gives you right click damage. Agility okay. gives you armor and attack speed, um, and damage if you're an agility hero. Intelligence gives you mana. So should my strategy have been like get into more melees if I was like higher level because I'm a strength hero? It was a strength hero. Only if you're doing really well. The thing. The attributes are really just a loose guide. Okay. It, you're really more of a support kind of spellcaster. You can get, you can accumulate a lot of HP by being in the thick of the fight. Mm -hmm. But if you're in a role where you don't have a lot of items, you're not going to be strong. You see how you know two shots from yeah. abilities can kill you if you don't also scale with items to let you tank or whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, man. That's pretty fun, though. I mean, I, I definitely... There's a ton there to um, parse you know, a lot of times. Yeah. To, like, even knowing about the items it seems like a lot. <clears throat> I would almost... That's why I think it's almost better to... So, like, you were asking what a carry is earlier. That's the person that, you know, really gets the gold and uses the gold. So it's almost better, in some ways, to start from a support role. That's okay. why I was trying to show you some wards and... Because you're right, dude. There's so much to know. Like Evan and Brian are still asking me, like, what items. Are, it's like, dude, I'm trying to play my own game. Like, you're, the point, you know, part of your the skill and like the difficulty is choosing how yeah. to most effectively spend your gold. Because like, there's items that cost. You know, there's items that cost 135 gold and they give you plus three strength. Mm -hmm. Or there's an item that costs 5200 gold yeah. and gives you 40 strength. So. The general rule is the more expensive, the less efficient. Yeah, because you you could have spent that gold to have a bonus by the time you've earned that higher gold. It's almost opposite, though, because in this game, there's such a premium on your six slots mm -hmm. that slot efficiency... So, like, Gloves of Haste give you three strength but cost 100 gold. Yeah. So, f 40 strength... You know, three times. Yeah, so that's the equivalent of 12 slots. Or 15. So it would cost 1500 if you were comparing, but you can't buy that many. So okay. you're going to pay. So what that also does, though, is it kind of encourages comebacks because it's 5200 for this 40 strength item, or I can buy, you know, two of these and have plus 20 okay. strength, and, yeah. you know, there's a chance for a comeback there. Um, armor is really effective against physical damage. The only thing that really, there's very few items that help, so like against Zeus's lightning bolts and stuff, mm -hmm. there's like this cloak which gives you some magic resistance and it upgrades into um, 
this glimmer cape, which has an act, so you can turn somebody, including yourself, invisible and give them a bunch of magic resistance. Or there's um, this smoke the pipe of insight, <laughs> and that gives 30% magic resistance. And you can turn on a shield that blocks nearby allies. Was that allies. what Bristleback was? The green thing? He had that, like, had some kind of shield around him. It was like Reflect, you said? Oh, no, that's uh, Lotus Orb. Okay. So... Echo Shell? Yeah, so you, cl you have to use it. It's an active. It doesn't just automatically reflect things. Mm -hmm. And, um, like, so it it would reflect your double, your soul rip ability because you have to target it on them. But AoEs were not But your Q, yeah, right. It, it won't reflect. Um, okay. This is what... This is, like, probably, I think, the best damage item in the game. It's what that Ember Spirit guy had that was... Okay. And so you have a chance to crit for two uh, points. So that 900 damage good. that you took. Yeah. That's... Um, you can get evasion from physical attacks with items. And then there's an item that ignores evasion, so there's, like, a counter. Some heroes have evasion in their skills as well, so that's something to look at. Um, there's damage block, which is... <laughs> independent of armor, but good for lots of small damage attacks. Okay. So if, like, rapid-fire attacks, it would be more efficient. Um, yeah, there's just a ton of Yeah, it seems different... like a lot. So, and only certain... Yeah, you just need to know all this stuff, then, to play effectively. You need to know which heroes have which kind of attacks, and... Yeah, how do I... What items do I get to counter this hero's specific movesets? Yeah. Or, you know, in, like, in the game you're just playing... Which of the five heroes on the enemy team do I really need to be concerned about? Yeah. Who am I going to buy items for? And like, turns out it was Zeus. Right, exactly. So if you were building a bunch of armor that game yeah. for somebody, you'd be like, "Oh shit, that's not helping me against Zeus." Yeah. So what are these starred ones? I mean, is that like your preferred ones, or is that just like some weird popular? shit they're doing? Um, I think every week you get. <laughs> You get an extra mango for picking this hero. <laughs> Dude, it's some bizarre shit they put in. Like That's what I'm saying. You can't. They're making the game so hard to explain to new people because it's like, yeah, and then every Wednesday, if you pick Medusa, you get a fucking mango because it's mango. Hey, it's free mango, mango Wednesday. <laughs> free mango Monday. Uh, like, <laughs> yeah, That's so, pretty funny, though. This guy... So he, he has He's making like, a shit ass face. I, sh I just need to point out. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, really... I don't know anything else. <laughs> about, I don't know anything about the game or character. But based on facial expressions alone, I could not. <laughs> He's bad. Everything is bad. So he has one ability. It's Q. You okay. left click it on some. Oh, that took me to Queen of Pain. That's his ability. Where's the Queen of Pain? And you like throw this projectile thing, and then he's got a vampiric aura, life steal aura, mortal strike. So this guy would be like a tanker type thing. He's really a carry, but yeah, he, he's like tanking carry because reincarnation, his ability, it's cool. It's like not only do you come back to life after you get killed in the same spot, but it casts a big slow in the AoE. Okay. So if they like kill you, now they're kind of trapped there. If they were second. gambling on getting you the kill before you killed Your team them. reinforces and stuff. It's a good way to like hold them in place. So what's carry again? I don't even explain it three times. So carry needs go like as an item using class will become more useful later in the game if they gain a significant gold advantage. Okay. So like, you know how I was saying like kind of let Huskar have those last when you're in the laning phase. Yeah. So you want to figure out who your carry is and let them get worry about those last hits in lane. So okay. so a good skill set for carries is the ability to get every one of like a good carry will get every one of those ah the precise last, last hits. hits. Okay. Because otherwise the gold just goes away, right? Yeah. And so, and you can also kind of judge what heroes are going to be useful with items, although this is kind of not as obvious as it may seem, but like, so this guy gets a critical damage ability, right, on his right click. So what it suggests is items are the only thing that boosts right clicks. Okay. And when you give him items, if you give him plus 50 damage, he has a potential to times that by three. Okay. As opposed, if I look at, like, your character, you know, who had four spells... Two over here. Yeah, if, if I boost his damage, what does it do, right? Yeah. Attack damage isn't helping him at all. There's one item that boosts magic damage, but it's really insignificant, because if you look at, like, so 16 units times 30, let's say this spell does, like, 400-something damage, 
if you amplify that by 10%, that's only an extra 40 yeah. damage. You know, like that's that Daedalus item gives you plus 80 damage per attack. So it's not that it can't be done, you just have to really look at like what. Yeah, the Melee King seemed, I mean, not the Melee King, the Witch uh, Undying. Yeah. Which is a, seemed, maybe I picked the weird class to start as. I, I shouldn't have pushed it. I was thinking it might be good because it's kind of a support role. and. Well, click on him again. Let me look at his shit without the stress of trying to be in a game. Bring out so, like. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Aghanim's Scepter would increase decay. That's, yeah, that's an that's item. An item. It slows. His, and dude, amplifies this damage is the damage. weirdest fucking all time. <laughs> it's like not even worth trying. <laughs> so, if you're standing near an enemy hero. When I ultimate. When you're in your ultimate, yeah. it amplifies the damage they take from all sources. Okay. So your DPS classes and stuff by 30%. Yeah, this is so weird. So the Undying King seems like he, all of his abilities thrive on being, except Tombstone is, is like a In summon. the thick of it. Yeah, but he, he's also not tough enough to survive being in the thick of it, it seems like, without items at least. It's, exactly. So... But the thing is, you you can play. You can sit back and play healer a little bit. You yeah. don't if you have heroes on your team that can take over that frontline role. You, you can play it careful and okay. still cast your spells, basically. Or if you give the, him farm priority, now he's the guy that just wanders into their team and hope. But that's kind of a risky strategy. Yeah. So like, that's why they have him labeled as a support. Can focus less on amassing gold and items and using. Okay. So. Oh, a hero that would have been way more straightforward for you to play. First of all, melee heroes in Dota are very difficult, I think, because you gotta, as you see, overextending, it, it's hard to tell that, like, this much space is the yeah. difference between life or death sometimes. Yeah. And so you're at an inherent disadvantage when you play a melee hero because you need to walk up to attack. You know, you're gonna commit yourself more. Um, this is one of my favorite heroes. He's kind of slow. He's got slow turn rates. But he casts really powerful spells and he doesn't need items, so he's a, he's a really good support. Now he's good at killing creeps, too. Um, Did they have a ranged attack? Yeah. Like ranged right click? Yeah. But it's not as... so it, that varies as well. He's got like a 400 range um, while somebody you know, like this dude he's like anti-magic he has a 600 range and it's a little bit more he's more oriented on right click than the dragon dude okay. and it's just yeah I mean it's really a hero by hero thing yeah it seems like there's a lot to know yeah I mean I think the the main thing is if, if you start if you stick to a hero or two it, and get comfortable with it you can kind of try to pay more attention to the other heroes in the game so rather than that the point of being able to ban it's like if I, I want to play this guy and this guy's antithesis is this other guy so then you'd ban that one from the start yep um, and it it picks bans random like 50% like half of the bans that are submitted by both teams so okay. you don't know for sure That's that you're gonna team. but the other thing is like alright this guy he I, I ban him every game because I'm a hook magnet and basically, like, I don't know that he counters one hero specifically. Um, so is this just, like, practice with this guy? Yeah. So what's sweet about him, and what's tough for me, is this ability. It also repositions. So, like, if they come to, if you're playing mid, right, and you're, like, sitting here fighting for last hits, and this pudge is, like, up on their side, you can't see him. Just like grab, or I should have grabbed the other one, you know. So, like, I'm up on some terrain over here that you can't easily, like, walk down, you know, and it's just the aimed shot. Like, you can't, you know, shoot. Like, you, it's all about just dodging, like, moving your hero. You have time to react one way or the other if you see it coming, but it's easier said that it's like yeah. playing Mega Man and saying, <laughs> like, yeah, this should be really easy, right? Um, So would you... And then you combo his ultimate, which holds so that, him in place. Wait, is that just his regular attack? Is the throw or is that a spell? No, it's a spell. I just have a cheat mode on right now. So his... And he... 
for every hero he kills, you permanently gain strength. Oh, wow. So if you're going around killing it, you know. That was weird. So you can hook allies too to save yeah. them. Or enemy heroes, and it does a lot of damage. Um, I don't mess around with that. It's there's just some heroes that are, have like these wacky, like same with that techies dude that puts mines. There's just heroes that are like totally different. Um, that rot, it's like a cloud around you. Oh, and it okay. Hurts you, but it also slows whoever's around you. So you try to not attack. Like if you're killing somebody, you just walk next to them, routing them, and then do the last hit. Yeah, or throw the hook from there, or use it after, like, to follow up with the hook. Now you're rotting them. So it toggles the W again. You can also kill yourself with that, though, and it denies the enemy team. Oh, I see. Which is really useful and so fucking frustrating when you do everything to take this dude down, and then he just he rots turns on his rock for the last, like, couple HP. And so, so this is like a permanent... Yeah, and it works retroactively as well, so if you get a bunch of kills and you don't level it, you, you still get the strength once you do finally put points into it. Interesting. Well, this is pretty cool. Yeah. I'm glad I played Dota. <laughs> uh, I think I gotta get going, it's like 10 p.m. Oh, for sure. Hopefully some of that was usable. I think it would be, inter like, legitimately interesting for someone to see if they had somebody they're trying to get into Dota. Or yeah. oh.